Asthma is due to increased airway resistance due to spastic contractions of smooth muscle in bronchioles, increased mucus secretion, and an inflammation of the wall of the bronchioles. Asthma can be caused by hypersensitivity to certain allergens, stress, exercise, certain foods, and breathing in cold air. Due to increased airway resistance, larger pressure gradients are required to keep up ventilation. As a result, more work is required for breathing. For the ventilation perfusion ratio, it includes ventilation, which symbolizes VA, and perfusion, which symbolizes Q. So under normal circumstances, your alveoli has a partial pressure of oxygen of 100, and a partial pressure of carbon dioxide is 40, and in your capillary, the partial pressure of oxygen is 40, and your partial pressure of carbon dioxide is 46, and under normal circumstances, the rate of ventilation matches the rate of perfusion, so your ventilation perf perfusion ratio is 1. there is an increased resistance in the bronchioles and because of that there is a decreased amount of O2 reaching the alveoli and because there is a decrease in O2 there's a decrease in ventilation and therefore the ventilation perfusion ratio is less than one because perfusion exceeds ventilation. Spirometry is a technique used to measure the amount of air inhaled and exhaled. To detect asthma, we often look at the forced vital capacity, which is a maximum inspiration followed by a maximally forced expiration. And from this, you can detect the forced expiratory volume, which is the maximum expiration from the forced vital capacity in a certain amount of time, usually one second. So this graph shows the healthy individual, and so their forced Expiratory reserve is greater than 80% after one second. And then this graph is someone with asthma, and their forced expiratory volume is less than 80% after one second. Symptoms of asthma include coughing, wheezing, labored breathing, shortness of breath, and tightness in your chest. Treatments for asthma vary per individual. However, corticosteroids and bronchodilators are commonly used. Corticosteroids reduce inflammation, while bronchodilators relax smooth muscle in the bronchioles by binding to beta-2 adrenergic receptors. Um, an example is inhalers that have albuterol. I don't know what they do, but I probably shouldn't have said that. 